you know, we talk every week about things going on in the real estate market, and uh, we saw an article that we thought was, was really important. And interestingly enough, it was from the Remax blog. Right. Um, I saw this article. It's funny. They um, a lot of times they, you know, they, they there's internal discussions on some of these articles, and and uh, you know, agents from different Remax offices that talk about it, and and uh, it's always kind of funny when um, you work with consumers that that think that they know more about real estate than, than you do and and so you know it's 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 interesting you, you know we'll have a customer that will say you know i bought home six or six or seven times i you know i, I know what i'm doing and i was like why well, i've bought you know a lot more homes than that and <laughs> you know we've helped people buy you know thousands of homes so i'm pretty sure experience right. tends to you know give you some advantages and in, in knowledge and education but the um the four things only a realtor and not the internet knows about real estate, and I love, I absolutely love this. First, number one, how to price a home. Right. How many times have you guys both run into people that have looked at Zillow, or have looked at Trillo? Yeah, that's Tr the first Trillo, thing that Trillo, in my head. Yeah. Trillo, <laughs> Trillo does not exist. If you Google that, it right. won't be there. But Trulia, um, you know, is is a website that's owned by Zillow, and they do a home estimate. Realtor.com does one. Uh, we have one at TampaBayHouseValue.com if, if you want to compare it to what you learned from Zillow and Truly. Again, that's TampaBayHouseValue.com. But, but so, you know, there, there's, the Internet can tell you a range, and it can get close. Um, there's a lot of times that it's off. I think, you know, first and foremost, um, if the Internet was perfect at selling homes, we would not exist. Exactly. You know, if, mm -hmm. and if the Internet was great at, you know, uh, solve, resolving lawsuits, lawyers wouldn't exist. And if the internet could fix your medical problems, guess what? We wouldn't have any doctors either. But the reality is, is in service-related businesses, you got to have human interaction and you got to got to have people to help you. And in pricing a home is, is complicated. You know, there are a lot of variables that come into play. Is it across from a busy road? Is it in the right school district? Is it um, in good condition on the inside? What are the updates? What's going on? You know, what's What's going on with pending sales? The internet can track a lot of things, but it can also, you know, make mistakes, you know, on a lot of things too. But how many guys? How many times have you guys seen it? Oh, oh Zillow says my house is worth this time. every day. Yeah, all every the day. Time. And how often is it right? Rarely. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. And Very here's rare. what I'll say: I will give them some credit. This is what I think the online evaluation websites are great at: giving you a baseline and keeping you updated on what's going on with the market. You can see how much your home has appreciated over a period of time. You can have a pretty good idea of appreciation percentages, but their baseline may not be correct, and they may be using wrong comps, but, it, but at least it's a decent enough baseline. There are neighborhoods, quite honestly, where they do a really good job, right. and then there are neighborhoods where it's horrible. It's, it's definitely area-specific. For example, in South Tampa, there's some areas where you might have one neighborhood that's all in the plant district. And then the one next right Robinson. beside it is Robinson. Yep. The Zestimate might say the one in Robinson is comparable to plant, but it's in not. actuality it's yeah. not. What's interesting though, I mean just on that on a sidebar on that, Robinson's catching. They are. I mean yeah. from a from an academic and an athletic standpoint, which which are the things that plant has always been known for, Robinson's catching them. But right. but plant's historically going to be known as the as the prestigious, you know, more desirable. Uh, school, but but it is the, the the gap is is not as wide. It's the gap is is you know narrowing. Right. So but but again, so you know it, it, there are things that's good for, um, but but don't rely on it. Don't rely on any website. You know even if you go to ours, you know ours is the same thing. It's it's an online estimate. Our team will reach out to you and see if we can get some more specific details about your house, and then maybe give you um, you know a more tightened up you know window. But until someone takes a look at your house and walks through it. They're not going to be able to tell you the the right number for the value of your house, and until someone competent walks through, they right. can't take into account anything like former claims. Uh, which, which, from our perspective, you know, if a house has a sinkhole claim, that greatly affects the value of the house. But it, uh, it you know, Zillow's not going to catch that. Correct. So another. Uh, so let's go to number two: marketing offline. This is something that, that's hugely important. Uh, I think when you're hiring a real estate agent, a lot of times you're also paying for who they know. You're not, you know, and I think that's the moral, the moral of the story with a lot of things in life. It's not what you know, it's who you know. We got a database of over 100,000 people in, in Tampa Bay that are using our websites, that are on our email distribution lists. 
We know what those people are looking for at homes. We've got lists of buyers. We've got contacts. So, you know, you're, you're paying for that as a service. You're paying for that agent to use all their resources and connections to be able to get your home that exposure. And we sell a lot of homes before they ever hit the market. Um, we sell a lot of homes for people to call us and say, hey, look, I want to sell my house, but I don't want to sign in the yard, and I don't really, you know, want to, um, you know, to deal with that. I just bought a $700,000 house from just that. No one even knew it was on the market, was going to be on the market. So, you know, there, there are opportunities for us to buy the home. You know, if someone comes to us with an opportunity that, you know, they want out, they don't want to deal with the sign in the yard, and, and, and you know, they're willing to price it at a fair enough price for us to be able to, you know, to do that. Um, you know, certainly uh, that, that's viable, but, but marketing offline is something that agents have with their network, their contacts, their, their websites, their databases that, that the internet just can't match. I think that's a huge advantage of working with your team at the Duncan Duo, you know, because you guys have so many listings all the time and a lot of them haven't hit the market yet, but you also have the buyers that you're working with that may be looking for that house. Correct. And it goes right to that point. They may see that before it ever goes live. Correct. On MLS. And when when, the, when, the, the when the inventory is that light, um, it's it's an enormous, enormous advantage. So um, key points in the process. Uh, so you know, if you're buying or selling a home, um, let, let's face it, with all the complications today with, with mortgages, with insurance, um, it, it's not as easy to get to the closing table today. You know, if you advertise your house online by yourself and you get it under contract, you need a lot of help to get it actually to the closing table. There's going to be inspections You're and still appraisals. Still a long ways insurance. away. You, you, you know, there, there, there are nuances of how agents negotiate through the the traps of that process. That you know, quite honestly, you you unless you are really experienced and savvy. So you know, I'll put a little asterisk here. Okay. There are people that can successfully for sell by owner, sell them home, sell their home themselves, or buy their home themselves. There are people that can do it without an agent. The majority of the public will lose money or make mistakes that cost them more money than they realize by attempting to do it on their own. Just like if they attempted to do a root canal on their own, or if they attempted to operate on their foot on their own, or if they attempted to, you know, negotiate their divorce on their own. You know, there there's there, that's just the reality of the situation. Um, and then next, and last but not least, and I think this is, you know, this is probably one of the things that people lose money the most on, and it's how to negotiate. Um, you know, when you're an agent, like at our firm, where, we, where we've helped thousands of people uh, buy and sell homes, and we've got a track record where you can look at our reviews, you can look at our video testimonials, and you can hear countless people saying, they got me more than asking price, they sold it fast, they got a bidding war. You know, the, there are reasons we do that, and there, the, you know, I'm not going to tell you all of them, but there, there are ways that we structure that to make that situation happen, to put the, the process at the in your best interest. Uh, whether it's as a buyer, how we present the offer, and and certain things that we ask for, um, in timelines, and 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 how we help you differentiate yourself versus other buyers, or as a seller how we're able to pit buyers against each other to get you, you know, the terms you want, the most money, you know, fastest, you know, time. Um, there's a lot of creativity that goes into that, and there's a lot of experience that goes into it, too. And, you know, uh, you know putting it online by yourself and not navigating through that process, in my opinion, you're going to lose money just by not having someone that really knows what they're doing from that perspective on your side. I've always said, too, uh, going to that, especially on the buyer side, that it's good to have your own buyer's agent. You know, a lot of people are under the impression that they can call the list agent and get a better deal in the house. That's not always the case. You know, the list agent already has a re uh, relationship with the seller, so they may not intentionally work on getting the best deal for the seller, but, you know... It, Subconsciously, that's who their they're aligned with. It's, it's, it's who they're legally right. obligated. That's who they're obligated. Well, it depends. It depends because help. there are different brokerage relationships. So, so it depends on whether they're a single agent or a transaction broker. Um, you know, because there's there's different ways that you can represent or not really represent. You different way. You're either representing the person or the transaction. So, um, different brokerages handle it differently. But they could be legally obligated to the seller, uh, or they may not be. It, it does okay. depend. But what, what I will say, though, is that naturally, um, you know, what's going to look sexier for that agent's marketing? Uh, a better price for the seller they're, that they're listing the home with when they go out to market it? Or they undersold the house, 
you know, right, to get a double get sided both division. sides, you know, and, and so I think, you know, for our purposes, you know, and, and sometimes we have, um, you know, this happen because the number of homes we sell, we'll have agents, you know, say that, oh, well, they just wanted to sell it both sides or this or that. Um, you know, in the grand scheme of our world, um, you know, getting, you know, when you sell, you know, a thousand homes a year, uh, getting a double side here and there is, is pretty negligible to my life. It's, it's not going to change my world at all. I want to get uh, the most money possible for the seller. That, that's, that's what we want. That, that's what drives our business. That's what our reputation is built on. And, and so, you know, the, the instances of, uh, you know, us getting, you know, excited about, oh, well, they did it so they could. No, we did it because it was in the best interest of, of the customer. And we fully disclosed everything. So.